Hi there, this is Mackenzie with Chevrolet Buick GMC of Puyallup. I'm just here today to show you guys the first look at the 2024 Chevrolet Silverado EV RST. Uh, first things first, of course, we have the front end of the vehicle. And in here, we call it uh, lovingly the frunk. Um, so of course, there's no motor, so it's great cargo space. 24 inch two-tone wheels uh, that come standard on this trim level um, of course as well as running boards as you'll see here we have the Silverado emblem here uh, but the E is blue and that signifies that it is an EV however of course it does look different than your standard Silverado 1500 these days um, as it's a little more sleek definitely gives it a different appeal if you want to come on over and take a look at the inside so being that it is an RST, it has this really pretty two-tone stitching, the blue and the red. Um, and the seats, being leather, are also ventilated and heated in this model. Of course, being an RST, it has the RST emblem here on the steering wheel, and it's flat on the bottom, giving it a little bit more of a sporty feel. And then on the inside, we have the touch screen at 17.7 inches. So plenty of space for you to touch and feel and, and find what radio station you want, as well as navigation. And delving further into the interior, you see we have two screens here. We have our infotainment screen, where of course you, know, you can control navigation, control the radio station, control um, the, the temperature within the vehicle. You can even, through Google Assistant, set the temperature at your house if your home is compatible with that. Um, also, even though it does have actual buttons and you can touch your screen and everything to, to change you know, the climate in here as well as the radio station, you can just say, okay, Google, and give it a command and it will do it for you. Okay, Google. Turn the AC on high. All right, turning on the AC. That's kind of cool, I didn't even have to touch it. This screen here in front of me is what your dashboard was in your regular standard gas vehicle. This tells me, of course, speed, odometer, um, the battery level. Further up, we do have a heads-up display in the RST as well. So, of course, that will tell me how fast I'm going, what direction I'm going without having to look down at this secondary screen. In the back seat, you'll see there's plenty of room. I'm tall, I'm five foot nine, barefoot and six foot tall in heels. Plenty of space. Um, then if you come and take a closer look, nice giant panoramic moonroof. Uh, perfect for when you go off-roading with your beloved and go stargazing in the evenings. Coming around, we have the multi-function tailgate. So first, this part pulls down. all the way down and a nice easy step easy in easy out and of course being a Chevy already right, comes with a spray in bed liner to keep that bed safe it comes standard with a soft top cover to protect your cargo and if you look you can see a crease here in the back you can actually fold that all the way down to give you extra footage for all your cargo. It extends up to about 11 feet. All right, so with the EVs, they're a little bit different with the starting process. So instead of having a button to push or an actual key, when you have the key fob in here with you, you just touch on the brake and everything lights up. Everything's good to go. Um, so let's roll up my window real quick. And so to put her in gear, of course, just to press the brake like you would any other vehicle, you pull the shifter towards you and down, and then we're good to start rolling. Got All right, so first impression on driving this, I'm genuinely surprised. It feels like driving almost any 1500 that we have. So there's no weird floaty feeling to it like I know other manufacturers have with their EVs. It feels great. Um, looking at the heads up display, of course, you know, it tells me how fast I'm going, tells me which direction I'm going. It also tells me how far ahead the other car is in front of me. So the uh, Silverado EV actually has very impressive range, um, up to 440 miles, uh, depending on how heavy your right foot is. If you're anything like me, it's going to be a little bit less. Um, however, still pretty impressive, especially considering that it is a truck at the end of the day. 
Also, it gets up from zero to 60 in four and a half seconds flat, which is pretty, pretty crazy. Also, being that it is a truck, I know towing capacity is extremely important. This thing can tow up to 10,000 pounds of cargo, um, very similar to that of, you know, your gas or diesel powered Silverado EVs. So being that it is an electric vehicle, it does have this really neat feature called regenerative braking. So with regenerative braking, um, if I pull my foot off of the accelerator, it will actually start slowing down on its own. It'll start braking, legitimately braking, and that will help regenerate the battery. So all I have to do is just press this button here. So see how it starts slowing down? It's repowering itself. And that's one of those things where you can turn it off completely. Um, so this is just normal where it slows down gradually. There is a high mode where it will, you know, try to put your face on the dashboard. However, just turn it off for normal running around. Um, regenerative braking is great in instances of stop and go traffic. When you know you're gonna, you know, inchy squinchy and then stop, just let the vehicle do it for you. This is the Chevy Silverado EV RST. Feel free to like, subscribe, and let me know what you're gonna be doing with your EV once you purchase it.